Today we're going to be talking about Road Redemption. This product is in early access, as you can see right here, early access. If you've played a game called Road Rash or Road Rash 2, or I think they made a 3 of it, then you have a general idea of what this game is about. <clears throat> this game is about riding motorcycles at breakneck speeds while beating things with weapons that you acquired during the game. However, this game has added things like leveling up, uh, different perks, buttons. We'll just have to jump right into it and I'll try to explain it as I go along. I'd like to go over the options first. There's not much of them. There's video, you have your resolution, your full screen, virtual sync on or off, your quality. I have it set to beautiful. Um, I guess I can go higher. Fantastic, let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> your sound has your master volume and your music volume. Your input lets you adjust your mouse sensitivities, your controller sensitivities, and coming soon, key binding. Like I said, this is an early access title. And then you can reset your player data. I'm not gonna do that since I've been playing this a while and I like the tune I've got built up. So let's just jump right into this. We're going to start at campaign mode. <clears throat> you don't start off with the garage. You actually have to earn the garage and the bikes. So I kind of like this bike here. It has good grip. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that bike. Now you get to choose who your racer looks like. You can be a psycho rider, a gray street rider, a punk rider, or the Halloween Rider. I like the Halloween Rider just because, I mean, flaming frickin' pumpkin, riding a bike, beating shit out of people with bats and shovels. I mean, what else is there to like about it? Grabs and kicks only. You get kicks by pressing the A button. So I need to take down three people using kicks and grabs only. The grab, here, I'll show you a grab. Uh, right button, grab him and slam him into a car. Of course I slammed myself into the car at the same time, but it did count as me kicking his ass. Ah! So you have different type of race modes and different type of race things going on. This is a takedown only match. And you have Nitro, of course. And police. And I have slammed into a pole. mode two more though in seven seconds I don't think I'm gonna be able to pass this but the neat thing about this game is you get to continue on the game continues on and on and on until you actually lose all of your life then you get to spend your experience points I'm gonna retry this mission yeah the upgrade your skills after you die stuff stays with you forever. I'm pretty tricked out right now. See how I did that? There we go. Mission completed. Now, this is your store menu. You get to buy things that last until you die. 
I'm going to go ahead and get some more health here. Extra damage on next track and convert cash into experience because I want to fill out some of my perks. Rooftop race. This is a mission takedown. This means I can use anything and I have to take down nine people within two minutes. Rooftop races are fun but annoying at the same time. that jump completely. Come on, give me some more guys to kill. Well, I got him. Fell off the top of the roof. That's what's annoying about this, is there's so many gaps that you can fall into. Fun though, I mean, racing across the rooftops, hitting people with bats. I mean, come on, come on. You can also block. Oops, wrong way. Ah! I only need two more. I got nine seconds. Ah! Oh, that was nice of them. They should fail. All right, so I can continue my journey or retry that one. I'm just gonna go ahead and continue my journey so you guys can see another race mode. Didn't make any money that time. C4 explosive, I'm gonna set that there. C4 is fun. Okay, this is just a good old-fashioned race. I'm in 12th place and I gotta get to, well, first. You know how races work. Blew myself up with my own C4. Ah! Jump away! Alright, here we go. Let's win this race. Thank <laughs> you. 
managed to make it into third. Wow, I tense up a lot when I'm racing. I never noticed that before. Oh! I thought I could slide right past that guy. Second, all right. Now I'll get some money to spend, so... First thing I need to do is recover my health, because once that health is gone, you're done. Game over. Okay, so now we're gonna have another beatdown where I have to take out my rival gang members before the time runs out. Oh, and it's on a rooftop. Eight of C4 on him. There we go. Two left, two left, two left. Let's get first this time. Ah! Road Redemption. Now this game is in early access, so don't expect anything grand. For the price though, I still think it's a little bit pricey for what you get so far. They have added some things like snow recently. There's a snow level. They've added crazy driver zone, which is pretty neat. Um, kind of a lot to it though. Cars just falling from the skies. Fifteen seconds to get one. Come on, come on. So, my health is still full. Alright, let's see how far we can go here. Do I want a slug shotgun? None of those. I like what I have. Here, here we go, there's the snow level. And it's just a basic race. Oh, no. It's a random bomb in the road. See those numbers popping up? Somebody's dropping bombs. You, who's trying to knock you on your ass?
this rate. Let's see if we can get a uh, crazed driver zone so you guys can see what that's all about. Schwarzenegger Terminator 2. Shotgun animation. Getting tore up in this one. So far, there's a lot of plan changes, of course, uh, more tracks. There's really not a lot of variety at this point. It's like race, there's bombs, there's a crazy driver zone mode, there's a mode where cars are just falling from the sky. It's called the uh, hallucinogenic something or other zone. I think I might die on this one. third this time. No, mission fail. Continue journey. Okay, this map sucks. You gotta use these things called jump jets to get across the top of a city.
This is by far probably my least favorite mode, as you can tell. So, with all of my massive failings, fallings, and dying, soon I can show you what the experience. But like I said, there's some issues. That's it. Oh, no. One more here. The worst mode. If they could take a mode out of this game, you know, in fact, I'm going to lower it to 7 out of 10 just because of this frustratingly frustrating mode. Once they get the aims right, you get this gun that allows you to attach to those helicopters. However, it doesn't work. So until you get to the... I'll continue, Jerry. Until they have all the bugs and kinks worked out, I'm gonna say definitely don't pay for it until they get all the bugs and kinks worked out. Uh, for an early access game, though, I'd say it's an eight out of 10. Uh, it's fun, it keeps you entertained. Uh, it's frustrating, which I like. Um, frustrating games. So, we're almost dead here. I'd like to show you what uh, happens after you play this as as I have here. Game over. In an infinite number of universes, you've already won. See the ragdolls and the V-Sync has all sorts of issues. Alright, so now you get to spend your points that you've earned. I want that critical strike damage up in ammo. And that, my friends, is road redemption. So I'd wait on it, but if you like early access games, I'd give it an 8 out of 10 if you don't mind the bugs, the problems, and everything else. If you're a person who's just looking for a racing game, then I'd stay away from this one for right now. It's got a lot of issues that need to be worked out. Thanks for tuning in. I am Geen76. This was White Trash Gaming Reviews, and we are out of here.